Hey everyone, happy Friday, happy Black Friday. I am not going shopping today. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere if I, no, there's no way. I was just thinking I might go in Walmart, but there's just no way when I think about the, the crowds or whatever. But I don't really need to because I've been shopping online and everything else. So today I'm gonna to show you, like I said, a few things that I got from All Saints that I love, I love, I love, and I think I'm going to start off with my outfit of the day because it's from All Saints and then the jacket is the one I showed you yesterday in my Nordstrom haul and I'm so bummed because I wore this over to my mom and dad's last night and my mom immediately put it on and it was a little too snug for her and I did read on the website that they run small to size up and this is a medium and it really fits like a small medium. So I went to immediately get her one and they were sold out of everything but the extra small and the small. But if you were interested, you will love it and they do restock because this jacket has been available for years. It's just one of their basics and I think you'll love it. So anyway, let me show you what I have on because it's really cool. I'm so glad. This was like a like a gamble, but I'm so glad I took it. So I'll be right back. So I'm going to start off with this bodysuit which is so nice it is double thickness lined the whole way down like the zara is double thickness to here but this one is the whole way down and it is like a plunging back and so i at first i had a bra on with it but the bra strap showed and but you don't really i don't need one just because it's double ply so i don't have to worry about it so love this just really good quality and then the leggings have this little skirt on them i've got all their toys out here i love this i think it is so cool and they're very like soft and cottony they're not like athletic -y type leggings they're more like just your everyday legging legging let me spin around for you and I just think it looks perfect with the moto jacket or like if you had a long jacket like a long you know wool black jacket or something I think it would look cool and then this is exactly how I'm always scared I'm gonna hit my head because I do that all the time this is exactly how I wanted to wear these little shoes that I showed you guys from Saks off fifth is something like this you know some of you might want to wear just a black flat but to me, this is a flat, and it just gives that Anina Bing, Kate Moss, um, who else? Just that kind of rocker model vibe, I think, and I love them. So these are perfect. These are just like something I would have worn in high school. Like I said, everything is 30% off at All Saints, and they are really known for their leather biker jackets. I looked at them and I couldn't decide if I need if any of them were different enough that I needed it. But if you are in the market, they do have that. Um, there's just a go under the most popular. Anyway, okay, so this is something else I got that I love. It's just a little t-shirt with a little bit of a sparkle running through it. Kind of like a muscle tee. Just so soft, soft like baby clothes. I've told you before over and over when my kids were little my favorite brands were little me that was a really soft cottony brand and i loved just baby gap that was one of my favorite stores to dress both of them in because the fabrics were like this i when my kids are small i was so i don't know like when i see people that have headbands on their kids all the time or a hat or socks and shoes tied up i just wasn't like that luckily brooke was born in march so she was barefooted you know most of her little baby days and will i did have to <laughs> i did have to put socks on him but i wasn't good about putting the whole shoes on him because i just felt like they had to be so uncomfortable and they couldn't tell you but anyway so i love this little sparkle top and i think it's going to look amazing with jeans this is a blast from my recent past. They are the Rag and Bone. Here, I'll stand up. I think they're called Miramar Jogger Jeans. 
They look like jeans, but they are just soft joggers. Let me see what they're made of here. I got the medium. I could not decide whether to do the medium or the small, but I really wanted them drapey and baggy for the look I wanted. So I think I got the right ones, but here, this is the inside. That shows you. I mean, they're like a, I would have to say like a polyester. I would, nope, they're a hundred percent cotton. Okay, so they might shrink up a little bit. Good, I'm glad I got the medium then. But aren't they cool? They look like jeans. They even have like the rag and bone symbol. And I thought these would look amazing with bodysuits, like a white bodysuit and high heels or a little mule heel. If you've been here with me long enough, you remember I had had those, that kind of style in the past. I bought them in the small and the medium. And I, if I wore them one time, I can't remember. And I ended up taking them to the resale shop that I take all of my clothes to here in town. If you ever come in town, go to Hope resale shop. It's right there by the beach and by landfall and where all the best, you know, best shops are because that's where I take everything. And I went to see if they still had them and they had sold both of them, which is fine because I think I like these better. The other ones were not as soft and not as lounge pants, you know, feeling. So totally stoked with those and I got those on sale because they're expensive, but I got them on sale. I can't remember how much. I'm thinking it was 25% off. Another few things I have here to show you, you know, I like to tell you things that after I've shown it to you, am I still loving it? And I've got three little makeup items here. One is this Wander Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I've been using this ever since I showed you guys the um that little kit and they're um i can't remember the farm link farm link this mascara not only is it so good just a very average normal i like it because it's a little smaller wand this is the best wearing but most of all the best removal mascara i know i said that wrong ever it comes right off of your lashes it doesn't leave a lot of residue you don't have to use an oily makeup remover you don't have big lines under your eyes the next day it just comes off so nicely and easily and but yet it stays on so love that love it so much i've used it every day okay my nude sandals i'm so i love that name i just did so good with that this is the christian audette nude sandals lip liner i have it on today and they are having a sale and she said they have some of these left i'm always scared to wear it or to tell you about it because she goes out of stock probably even tammy says this is the best lip liner she's ever had i mean it is they are just the best so I'm wearing this today and I just wanted to remind you how much I like that. It is a fabulous lip liner. And then this is what I've been wearing on my lower waterline for I know the past week. Probably for the last, you know, five videos that you guys have seen me. And I haven't had time to put, you know, today I'm wearing. That takes a lot of time. And I wanted to ask you guys this. I I'm thinking about just putting on my page like a template where it says primer slash skincare, foundation, powder, you know, blush, bronzer. And I just, instead of writing out what it is, I can just put the link in there and you can just click it and see. That way that'll save me a lot of time. So let me know if that's okay with you guys because that way, you know, every time it'll be so much easier to do that. But this is the Wayne Goss um, Precious Opal. Chanel! Chanel! She just walks around doing that. Oh, she might be in the garage. Hold on. Okay. John just left to go to the gym, and she must have run. They, love, they think it's so cute to run out in the garage when the door's open. So I think that's where she is. So what was I going to say? Okay, my next thing is when I was at my parents last night, I called my mom in the morning 
and we talked about the water softener how it is just it was making my hair just terrible it's done the same thing to brooks and even john was like what's this on the back of my head it is like breaking out our scalps and it was making my hair just terrible so i did order one of those um water softener type things for the shower head hey baby and um so hopefully i'll get that soon and i will be able to report back to you but last night my mom had two jugs of their water ready for me and I brought them home and I was thinking, I asked John, I said, what's the best thing for me to do to heat these up just a little bit, just so that they aren't so cold. And so what I did is I just ran the tub full of, not full, somewhat of hot water and let them sit for a minute. And then I filled it the rest of the way with some cooler water, got in the tub and I'm sure that was like a comedy, comedy, a rated X comedy show to see me washing my hair with those two jugs of water. It was hilarious. So I used, and then get, listen to the shampoo I chose. Out of all the dingbat things I could have chosen, I chose the Kerastase Purple Shampoo and Conditioner. What was I thinking? So I've got that purple shampoo everywhere. I'm trying to lift that big jug over my head and rinse without wasting it I knew I was just going to use I was like you got one jug for wash one jug for rinse so I did it and it is amazing the difference in my hair now it looks kind of fluffy I didn't put a lot of product in it because I just wanted to kind of see how it felt and so the main thing I want to say is if you do not have a water softener if this is kind of like a bizarre thing to you, like a lot of people just think that's weird, just try it. It makes the biggest difference in your hair and your scalp and your skin. It, it is so, this water here is so hard that I can barely get my shampoo to spread, you know what I mean, in my hair because it's just so, it won't move. And so there's my little lecture and story about the water softener if you don't have one maybe order that amazon one that i'm going to okay have you ever gone into the grocery store when you are really hungry and you end up getting just way more than you needed i actually miss those days you know one of the things i miss is opening a bag of not i don't even need cookies or anything but i used to love to get like those um caramel the caramel like rice cakes the little mini ones and open them up and almost eat the whole bag before i got home or if i did get cookies my favorite cookie to like eat in the car is ginger snaps like the real crispy hard ones like the cheap ones that's the ones i like the best i've never been like open the chips in the car or anything like that but i did like eating nuts in the car and stuff like that but that is how this next haul is going to be this is like almost like a temper tantrum that I threw the other day. I think it was Wednesday. I was so tired of being cold here in the house. And those robes that I got from Mason Gray, don't get me wrong, I love them. They also are running a sale and I tried to order my mom the black one with the stars, but it was I had to put my email in for them to let me know when it gets back in stock. But they are not robes that you wear for warmth. They do not keep me warm. So I went to, okay, and then another thing that happened, so that's one part of it. Another thing that happened is my Barefoot Dream socks. I bought a pair a couple of weeks ago and I started wearing them when we moved here. So I guess I bought them like a month ago. And oh, they feel so good. They just, I've been wearing them around the house. They look so cute. Well, I, not thinking, threw them in with the towels. Well, another thing that I did that was bad was I threw that dark hair towel that I had just gotten in with the towels. And it, the towels that it messed up, they're not that bad. It kind of made the edges of my cheap washcloths dark, but they're cheap Walmart washcloths anyway. I wouldn't worry about that, but it messed up my barefoot dream socks. So 
the other day I headed out to Dillard's and I tore that place up. So you are getting ready to see a huge pajama, socks, anything that you find in the lingerie and pajama department and then a few pair of shoes that kind of tie in with that. So get ready. It's getting ready to be. Matter of fact, I'm ready to show you this stuff because I haven't worn it yet and I've been freezing. Okay, so the first thing, but up at the front were these cute little bags sitting out. And I thought, I asked her. One thing that helped too is the lady that helped me at Dillard's. I have been working with her for probably 10 years. I mean, we like know each other from there. So she really helped me. But these are a set of four masks. And look at how cute these things are. So one matches the bag. And look at the little ruffle. And look how the elastic thing is like ruffled. And then this one, this is so Brooke. And then the pink one, and then another little flower one. And I just thought they were so cute. So you get all of these and the bag that they come in for, I think $20 or $25, $24. So I picked these up for Brooke because she, when she goes to work, she likes to have different masks on. Okay, so here are the socks. I, this is the my favorite ones, and then I bought this color too. I love wearing these just around the house. I even go to sleep in them sometimes and then end up taking them off, but this is the color that got messed up, and I love it. It just looks so pretty when I wear the light colors. Remember how I was saying I either like to go with a light motif when I'm sleeping, like pink and white, or a darker. So I grabbed both of these and I got a pair of these for my mom and I took them to her last night. And um, so we'll, she, we'll see what she says too. And I bought a Barefoot Dreams robe. I'm so excited about this because I love my blankets so much. We have one that just stays on the sofa just to keep it from getting too dirty. The lighter one that's this color. And then the one I have that's this color, I sleep with every night so i wanted to get a robe and this is just the long here i'm see how complicated it is to um untie these it's the long of course you know there's like several different styles but i wanted this one which is you know and i got the size one which is the small Oh my goodness, you guys. I am not going to be cold anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's just a good snuggle robe. I can't wait. Okay, so that's the first thing. Then I went over to the UGG section and fell in love with this one. So that's my dark and this is my light. Now this one is a little different. I've tried on several different styles but this one is i tried the one that had the fur on underneath it so this one's going to be a little shorter and but still equally as cozy and just awesome here let me turn this to the side oh so that i can't wait okay here's two more pair of socks i think i got um another pair for my sister-in-law to put in with her gift and then I grabbed these UGG pink socks just because I could not resist how cute they are. And I just wanted to see how they compare to the Barefoot Dreams. I wore the ones I got from the Butter Socks from Nordstrom. I wore those last night and this morning and I loved them. They're not quite as lush as these and not quite as tall, but they're still nice. So just couldn't resist those. They had that Honeydew brand. This is the brand of my lemon nightgown, and I got a black one. And they had these pajama sets. So for the pink, the light set, no, actually, I got this to count to go with my dark robe because it had the dark hearts. I got this top, and you guys can see how soft these are, and these pants. And I, on purpose, got the medium, so everything will be real loose and comfy. And I got these. This is a little bit of a different style. Yeah, those are, are they? Or is it the same? Okay, no, they're the same. So, I looked at so many different ones. 
So this has the lips and the top like that, and then the bottoms. So this I will put with my light row, my pink one. And then this is a few extra things I saw while I was looking around. I saw these panties, which are Notori, and they're one size fits all. And the main thing is they are just stretchy for days. They are silky, and they're just so soft, like almost like the skims. Actually, they feel like they are made. If you have the skims that I like, they feel like the exact same fabric. And they were not cheap. They were three for $48 or $20 a piece. So I got three. I got one black and two nude. Believe it or not, when you lose 30 pounds, even your panties don't fit anymore. I've got some that I can't even keep on. So, And then this is something I saw and I just liked it. And I wish it came in other colors, but this was the only color. But I just happened to like it. And this is something that I like to wear around the house and when I sleep. You know, I need one that is pretty supportive but not crazy but this one is see the whole thing is supportive it's not like it's just the band and i just liked it so i grabbed that i think this might have been on sale and then i grabbed this little long line top from free people to maybe wear underneath a blazer with the blazer buttoned and pants just to give you that just to give a little bit of that look of wearing something short underneath it but not having to show my whole midriff so that was the idea behind that I'm gonna put this down because I bet sassy will lay on it do you guys see this thing back there laying out then you know I wear those um, Ugg Cosette the little Ugg shoes all the time so I went over to the shoe department and I thought I'm going to get another pair of those or some other pair of like slipper shoes like that that go with the lighter stuff. So I ended up, there was a lady in the shoe department that I have also worked with for years. I got her to keep the boxes because I didn't want the boxes. So I grabbed these. I wanted to get these during the Nordstrom sale and I think they ran out of my size. She gave me the seven instead of the eight. Oh my goodness. Okay, my mom might get these. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, now I do wear a seven in the other pair that I'm gonna show you, so that's what confused her. Mm -hmm. So upset about that, but good for my mom. Okay, the other pair that I got are these. So they are the, they still got the sole. Like there's one that just has like a slipper sole, but I like to have a true sole like that in case I want to just wear them out or whatever. And these were the only black pair they had and the eights were too big in this style. I had to get a seven. So that is what threw her for a loop right there. Okay, shoot. You see, when you, when you don't take the boxes, you can't exchange. And I knew I wasn't going to want to exchange because I knew I loved those. But anyway, and these Gianni Beanie were on major sale. I think they were 40% off, and I got them for 40 bucks. And I just liked them. I liked the heel height. Look, you can see my light has changed so much in here. Can you still see everything? Anyway, I tried these on. They felt good. The heel's a good height. Gianni Beanie always has really good, like, cushioned soles. And they were a little Bottega looking. So I grabbed those, too, just to wear. I'll probably end up wearing a lot more in the summer. And that is it. That was enough, huh? That was my little fit that I threw. And I'm so upset about this, but... At least my mom will get these because, but aren't it in the color beautiful? I love it. So, thank you guys so much for being here. I don't know if I have anything. Oh, let me, I've been forgetting to, well, no, I've been telling you about my accessories. Okay, Sheila Fajal, favorite hoops. She is also having 25% off. I believe these are the, I think these are the champagne. 
which is kind of a cool color. Champagne is kind of like a rosier, deeper gold. And then this is a ring that my parents gave me, I believe, last Christmas. And I did, I was trying to wear my old wedding band that John got for me. It, it wasn't when I got married. It was just a wrap. But my fingers have lost weight and it wouldn't stay together. So I took that off. And um, my U necklace, Oliver is also having 25% off on their website. And I think that's it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I will probably see you again. And have a good one. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.